Hello, it's Paul. Welcome to my training for a trade company using Zoho, Zoho CRM free version. We're going to dive straight in by signing up. So I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to put in trade at uh, myname.com. So your email address, add a password and sign up. I'm just going to sound off so you don't get deafened. Get started. It's creating your account. You, the free version you can have up to ten users for free. It's a pretty good deal, but um, obviously with the free version it's limited. There's not a lot of things, not a lot of functions, not a custom customization, and you don't want to get confused with the first sign up because it gives you. Um, it gives you the enterprise version, right? So time zone, you want to make sure this is right. So minus 12 for me is wrong. I am right on the money. Greenwich Mean Time in Timbuktu. <laughs> I might leave it at that just for a laugh. Uh, France, Pharaoh, shit, oh my God. Why does it matter which? Greenwich Mean Time, Africa, Africa. I'm looking for something uk -nia. I'm looking for London, GMT. Yeah, yeah, GMT. Eastern time. Uh, it's not Eastern time, it's not East TC stands for. Uh, language, United Kingdom, currency, and it's up to you. You want to change it with your dollars or something. And I just click save, right? Now, I am going to add sample data. And if I were you, I would add it as well, just to get started. So just click add, just for me. If you've got multiple users signing up, you can share it so they can test and play too. If you just if you're just looking at it for an option, you're gonna to want to share it with people so they can see it. But I'm just gonna show you this as if one person signing up. It's gonna take a while to add the um, custom data, and what I'm gonna show you is the trial version is the enterprise version. It isn't the free version, so you'll get you'll be looking at this going, oh look at it, it's got quotes and invoices and forecasts and my forecast I think is in the free version campaigns are in the free version products this sort of stuff isn't in the free version so what you need to do is go up here turn off the trial straight away if you're not willing if you're not if you're not expected to pay you know for um if you don't want to pay for this then just switch to the free version i understand switch to the free version right that turns you into free edition up here. Okay, so now at the top, you're getting less options. Uh, and projects is a tab, again, that's a paid, that'll be a paid um, app as well. Are you sure you want to do, what's this, quick action, pull your leads from your website, create a web form. We're gonna go through all this one by one, so. At the moment we are in the free version we've just turned it off so it's the free version and we've imported test data right so make sure you're at that point and then we'll step to the next lesson right so let's have a walk around let's understand everything that's um in here with the sample data right so home page is going to be where you can create or set up any of these grids to be what information you need. What am I looking at? Am I looking at my open tasks? Am I looking at leads? Am I looking at potentials or deals um, that I've got to close? Uh, contact information. You can set this up. What's my pipeline look like? You can set this homepage up to be your quick look, uh, grab, grab information. Feeds is what's happening, is what's new. Uh, nothing obviously in there at a minute. We're brand new to it, you know. A uh, new day working on a quote for police station, whatever it is, right? And that'll send it and you can, you know, as a team, you can all see each other's stuff and other people can come in and comment. Leads. So we're going to talk about leads, accounts and contacts, right? Now, leads are in my opinion, hearsay things, grapevine things, you know. So that says, um, that one just said, working on a quote for the police station. Now, somebody in the police station might say, oh, the fire station are going to be looking at upgrading soon, or whatever you're doing. 
Um, so I work for security companies. So say we're doing a, a fire alarm at the police station. The the head guy at um, the police station says, oh, the fire station are next. They're going to upgrade their fire alarm. Right, there's a lead there. And you would come here and add a lead. You would add so-and-so's name if you had it at the fire station. And it would sit there as a lead. It wouldn't sit as a job or an account until you actively went to chase it. If you then went and said, right, we're going to actively contact, and this is a real lead that we think we can convert, you would then convert the lead into an account and a contact. Don't worry, I'm going to go through it all again in the next lesson. As we go through each lead, I'll go leads, accounts, contacts, deals. So what you do is you, you transfer a lead to an account and a contact. Now, accounts are the businesses. Uh, and if you work with individual individual people, then accounts may be just a person's name. But it's, you know, you can see here, printing dimensions, more long associates, uh, truer. Uh, so what accounts are is the business name, the business information, uh, the top end. This is this is the account. Basically, you can look at it as the, the account that's going to pay the bill. Where are you going to send the invoice to? Because you wouldn't send the invoice to the contact. Well, you would send the invoice to the contact, but you would put it in the account's name, it was a business's name, and then you send it. So this is top level accounts. And then obviously you can have as many contacts as you want for that account. So the contacts are people who work for that business. I don't know if there's this uh, account attachment. I don't think, uh, there's no contact for that motoring one, right? It's probably the only one I would have thought. There you look. Oh, such this is great sample data and they don't have actually uh, any any they don't have any contacts in the uh, in any of them but what you can do is you can do it reverse it anyway you can go to contacts go to Chris Maria and say that that contact works for um, a certain account so if I go to edit and they see account name I can associate it with that more long associates so now when I go to more long associates i'll see contacts and then that person works for them right and then that information so that is leads hearsay grapevine accounts are the businesses that you work with contacts are the people who work for those businesses deals are going to be your quotes your potentials your in your deals that are in the pipeline be it deals that are um that you're chasing that to close and it works in this is this Kanban view setting. It's a big raise. It's, it's a popular thing. You can change it. Uh, we can change all these views. We'll talk about changing views to, to make it look like what you want to see. And obviously deals is your pipeline. What stage is this deal at? And you can, can drag and drop and throw these ones around, you know, but you're obviously looking to get to closed one. That's a big thing. Um, in obviously any business, any sales pipeline, your goal is to get them to the bottom of the pipeline to sales one. Uh, I probably just got an email there saying, yeah, see, and it'll tell you big, big deal alert because I, because I dropped that onto closed one, it sent an email to the sales team saying someone's just closed us in again. Look, just, so you're going to be, you're going to be, um, able to see who closes deals and stuff. So that's deals. We'll talk in depth again about that. Activities is the tasks, the things that you've done, tracking phone calls, tracking customers. Look, here's your, here's your eye paying customers. Um, here's your open deals. Here's your leads and your contacts that you might want to, and here's your uh, others. But you'll be able to assign tasks and you'll be able to change this view to whatever you want again. So that is the activity. I'm not sure, I don't think projects is part of the free plan. I think that's sat there, but um, I'll have to, I'll, I'll have another check before, when I go offline and make sure that the, if projects is on the free plan, otherwise I won't show it here. That's obviously managing the project. If you've got a big quote, you can manage it. And if you sign off the quote, you can manage the job. Uh, and then in here, Reports, all sorts of reports we go into in a, in a future lesson. Uh, campaigns is you can track a deal via a campaign. So if you've done a Facebook ad 
for whatever trade you service you offer and somebody says or oh, i saw your advert on facebook then you click that you tag that deal to that plan to that campaign um and you can see how much work you've got from that advert if the, like it's yellow pages or something like that if you've paid for yellow pages space and you say to people oh just out of interest how did you get our number you say oh, we're going to get yellow pages then you can track over the course of the year how much did your yellow page advert cost versus how much money did it make for you so that's campaigns uh visits again is i'll have to look at if this comes with a free version this is sales iq logging how many visitors are to your website where they are and it's saying chat sales visit i'm surprised if that is in the free version but again i'll check and then documents storing documents you know frequently used documents um uploading maybe it's brochures or or manuals or frequently used items you know for your business you know what i mean you'll get a customer ask for something you just jump in here there it is it's that logo it's that um, pdf how to switch off a burglar alarm or how to change something on your boiler <laughs> whatever it is so this is where we're at the free version that's the tabs explain that's the walk around we're going to get into it in deeper in a deeper sense so you can grasp what it can do for you uh, and we'll be talking about mobile devices and stuff and what you can see on your mobile right so let's talk about leads leads captures and you know what they're all about as i said in the previous video this is someone submitting a, a web form somebody I consider it in the trade industry, you know, you would go, um, so I work with security companies, so let's say I've just been out for lunch and I've heard that uh, the um, the pharmacy was broken into last night, right? So I'm gonna put, um, if you know that, if you know this information, you put in as much as you can, um, West West End Pharmacy. Uh, you don't know the first name, you've got to put a last name, uh, just put manager. If you don't know who you've got to contact, you're going to contact the manager. Title, email, you know nothing else, right? You're going to put um, broken into last night, alarm did not go off, right? And save. Now, at that point, it's just sat there as a lead, as something that's... Um, you don't necessarily know what's anything to do with it you don't know um you don't know what's going to happen to it you don't know whether you're going to follow it up because you'll want to be chasing your opportunities or your deals that are already in the pipeline so it's a back burner one um i'm not sure we test data what it's there's going to be a lot of um today's leads and they're all going to be today I bet. so it's going to be the last one but if you'd just done it with no test data it would have been the first one right so when i come to it you can then assign a task or something to it to uh, to chase it up to go after this what are you going to go after it i'm saying you can assign yeah activities it always it, it's messed me up a little bit lately because it used to say add task here but now it says open activities and you click the plus new task subject is call find out more something like that right when you're going to do it i'm going to do it by the end of next week um priority i'm going to put as high owners me it's not going to repeat uh more details you can put uh, you can put here broken into need to chase up right and done so you're going to save that and on your home page uh you're going to get and again because it's because it's, it's their test data it you're going to see in your open task here and before next week i've got to do this related to that right so when you come to your crm you're now looking through your tasks what do i need to do oh let me chase up that job you know, I'm looking through my leads. What am I interested in? You know, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this job and I'm going to make a phone call to the pharmacy. So I'm going to add log a call. Um, uh, initial um, 
interest, something like that, right? You, you'll know what you put. Call purpose, prospecting, right? Related to accounting it outbound. Well, it, obviously, it's outbound. Uh, your account you can't tag from a deal, I think, from a lead. Uh, current call. So if you put current call, you can track its time and it'll start calling. Um, I'm, if you tag to Skype, I think it'll actually try and call them. But I'm going to put completed call. Uh, and it took. I did it today, at you know uh, 4 p.m. 4:30 or not 4:30 a.m. 4:30 p.m. And we talked for 30 minutes. Uh, called to see if I can arrange a meeting. Call result. Meeting next week. Game on. Billable now. Oh, it may be if you're doing it. Call start time. Oh. Call start less than or equal to current time. Alright, so it's not four thirty, it's uh it's only it's only two forty here. Right, so that has then logged the call. Initial interest, call and find out more you've done. So you can tick that tag task off. But now you need to add a meeting, right? Add an event. A new event. Uh, initial meeting right location pharmacy what time you know 11 o'clock till yeah we're gonna say we're gonna be there an hour and a half right oh I don't know why I said an hour and a half uh, participants so if you've got more salesmen you could add them obviously um, oh and you can add actual the contacts so if you add a contact here We'll do this again later on the uh, an actual deal. But you could add a contact of who's going to be there. Lead, lead, uh, and save. Right. So now you've got a meeting in your open activity for next week. But what we're going to do with this deal is we are now, it's game on. It's an opportunity now. We've identified, we've made a phone call, and the person's interested to go further with us. So now we're going to convert it to a contact right so the create create a new deal for this account so there's the, the new account is going to be the pharmacy the contact will become the manager and we can edit this information as we go in and we know there's a deal on so we're going to tick to say deal we're going to say it's a 1500 pound deal the deal name is um alarm system and CCTV, maybe something like that, right? I'm gonna make this a I'm gonna make this a five thousand dollar deal pound. I'm gonna give myself a month to close it because it's still early days or whatever you decide, and uh, you need to you can decide where you are in the stage. So we might say value proposition. We're going for a meeting and we're gonna sell. We're gonna um, give the proposition of what value you can bring. So the campaign source is what we said in the other lesson. Uh, if you had a campaign, you would you would tag it to it. So we could put um, just for examples because we can show it later. We're going to put um, yellow pages, right? Because we can use it in a bit as well. Yellow pages, active, first of the year to the end of the year, right? So obviously we know that it wasn't from the yellow pages, but. Expected revenue, 10,000. Is that 10,000 or 1,000? 10,000. Second guessing. Save and associate. So it's going to tag that. This deal is going to get tagged to Yellow Pages. So if you sign off 5,000 from a Yellow Pages ad, you know it was worth it if you can get a few more in the year. Contact role, you are talking to the decision maker. And you convert it. So now we've got a account a contact and a deal and in the next lesson we'll go into that